Hey everybody, we are here today to talk about Google's AIY Projects Voice Kit, which is arguably one of the coolest things coming to the Raspberry Pi world, in my opinion. So I'm actually going to show you today how to turn all of this into this. Let's get started. First and foremost, what you're going to need is some tape. Um, the tape is actually going to be used in the assembly of the kit, but um, what good maker kit doesn't need tape? Um, you're going to need a power source for your Raspberry Pi, so you're also going to need a 5 volt adapter for the wall. You're going to need an HDMI cord to connect your Raspberry Pi to a monitor. You're going to need the monitor. You're also going to need a mouse and a keyboard, and then you're going to obviously need a pair of pliers because who doesn't? You're going to need an SD card reader and a micro SD card. This is actually what's going to hold the brains of the Raspberry Pi and the entire voice kit, um, so that's super essential. Then you're also going to need a computer to load all of everything that Google provides for the Raspberry Pi onto that SD card reader. And then most importantly, you're going to need a Raspberry Pi 3 um, because this is actually what runs the entire kit. And then last of all, you are going to need the actual voice kit. So this version actually came with the AIY Projects um, version of Magpie. Um, that's the one that we got. Yours is going to be just slightly different. Um, I just believe it comes with a different switch. So um, this right here, this is the external box for the actual voice kit. Um, this is going to be the frame that's used inside of this box, so let's put those together first. All right, so then we've got this box. I'm actually going to move some of this stuff out of the way for now so that you can see a little bit better. So here's the box. Um, you can see that there's actually some side ports um, as well as where the, the noise from the speaker comes out of. Um, this is where the Raspberry Pi is going to lie, and you'll see that in a second um, once we get the frame folded. I actually found that the frame was one of the harder parts to do um, just because it's a little bit interesting how they tell you to do it. Um, the first thing I do is punch this in and then actually push all this down and squeeze it up together, and it, and it works out kind of nicely. Um, and then you kind of fold this in like this, okay, and let's actually get the Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to open this up. So actually the first order of business that um, AIY Projects tells you to do is install the standoffs onto your Raspberry Pi. So um, actually a good thing to do would be to go through what's actually in the kit aside from the cardboard that I have no chill and had to play with immediately. So here is the light adapter and the switch that actually operates inside of this little push button right here. And then here's some cool wires. Um, these operate with the switch as well. Here's a five pin connector that talks uh, directly to the microphone. Here is the microphone piece, the voice hat for the Raspberry Pi, um, the standoffs, standoffs that I just mentioned, and then also um, the LED that sits inside the push button. And of course, the all-powerful speaker. So we can probably get rid of this and uh, start playing a little bit more. So first thing, let's do the Raspberry Pi standoffs and um, put the hat on the physical Raspberry Pi because um, that's what Google actually calls for. So you just snap them in just like that. And then the position of the hat is pretty straightforward. Um, there's a whole bunch of I.O. pins on the right side, on screen right side of the hat, as well as the Raspberry Pi. They line up per perfectly with those standoffs. So I'm just going to push that down and snap that together. Um, it's kind of kind of awkward, but it f snaps together really nicely. Just kind of push down gently until it all clicks together. Push that standoff down. And this one is actually good to go. So what they actually have us doing next is connecting the speaker um, to the voice hat, which is pretty straightforward. It's just two wires, and this is where the handy dandy screwdriver comes in. Pop that out, and it, it requires a pretty small one, so if you have a big one laying around, definitely uh, look for a little bit smaller of one. Um, this one specifically is a, well, you can't really see it, a PZ00 um, sized Phillips head screwdriver. So, 
Let's see. And keep in mind, the red wire always goes in the positive one and black, and then just gently screw it in. Boom. So that's really all you need the screwdriver for. So I'm going to put this away and put that up there just to keep things neat. All right. So the next thing it calls for is the connectors that attach the push button as well as the microphone. And they're, they're pretty self-explanatory. The push button has four, the microphone has five. Um, so just connect them to these two connectors on top of the voice hat and it's pretty easy stuff. So five, five pins to five pins. Make sure you orient them right. Boom. Keep those over there. Four pins to four pins. Clicks into place. Okay, and so here's the tricky part that I originally had struggled with, and it, it is with that frame. Um, remember, push, push in like that, and then fold these flaps in, just as the instructions call for. And then there's actually, you'll see on, on the, the, the frame, there's the panel labeled two and the panel labeled one. Um, what I did is actually oriented it so that the panel two lines up kind of Inside, you can see there's this gap right here um, on the backside in between the hat and the USB um, ports. So what I did is slid this right into there and you can see it just kind of nicely fits um, just like that. And then you just slide the speaker down into this hole right here. And this is actually good to go into the frame. So you open that up speaker in. Awesome. And a couple nice things that I want to point out. Um, there's actually, like I had said before, there's these holes on the side. Um, this is access to your ethernet port, your four USB ports, as well as your HDMI port, your micro USB power port, and then there's this tiny little slot on the side, and that is eventually where your SD card reader, um, or not your reader, but your actual SD card is gonna go once you've configured it properly. So the next thing that they call for us to do is to connect the voice hat microphone um, to the actual voice hat um, for the Raspberry Pi. It's just a, a one pin connector, uh, or a five pin connector, just, just like that. Um, and that will actually sit, you can see, there's a nice little call out on this cardboard that it's gonna go right there. Um, the cool thing is, is there's a right and a left microphone and those line up perfectly with these two little holes. Um, and that is actually what your tape is for. So we can tape that down. Okay, awesome. Now we need to assemble the button, which was actually kind of tricky, um, much to my surprise. So the first thing it has you doing is um, actually putting these pieces together. Um, and this is super important because of how everything is oriented. Um, you can see that there's these little holes on the side and these only line up one way. So you kind of have to play with it a little bit. Um, what I ended up doing is holding it like this and then here and on the other side of this you can see there's that tiny little nub. Put that right there and then fold all this in like that and then there's another nub right there. Pick that up and snap it right into place um, and then that's good and then we can connect the LED just right in here. Cool. And then that is just going to fit into your actual button um, just kind of screws in like that, but we're gonna do that after we put it into the box. So let's do that. You can says button to put the spacer first. So you don't wanna have the spacer on the outside. Um, you actually wanna have that on the inside. So we're gonna do that. 
Boom. All ready. Get it kind of nice and snug. All right, and now it is time for our switch assembly. And it's, you kind of have to fidget with it. I really kind of struggled with this at first because um, it uh, requires a little bit of force to get in there. Um, but now your, your button switches in and it is time to connect all of the leads. Now, one thing that's important, um, this first kit is actually going to come with a different switch. Um, so this was kind of the first switch model, if you will. Um, and the second one will come with a little bit um, nicer of a switch and it'll, it'll obviously call out how to connect the leads properly. Um, this one, it actually has this nifty little magazine and it'll tell you right in here to do it just like that. So I'm gonna follow this, boom. Connect the blue one to the blue one. All right, and there you have it. Um, the switch is all connected. So I'm gonna close this bad boy up and it is time to finally pack in all of our goodies into the box. Okay. Now, before we started shooting, we actually pre-configured the SD card to exactly what we needed um, for the purposes of this, but we are gonna do that in a second video to show you exactly how step-by-step -step, to walk through all of Google's instructions on how to get their cloud speech API up and running on your Raspberry Pi. Um, but it is pretty straightforward once you have the SD card ready. Um, you usually do it on the Raspberry Pi itself, um, but we're going to just plug this in through the micro SD card reader. Okay. All right, so the last thing that we need to do is plug in all of the peripheral attachments, uh, your mouse, keyboard, monitor, and then power. Um, make sure to do it power last, just so you don't fry anything. So we'll give it a minute to boot up. Okay, so we've plugged in the Raspberry Pi 3 um, that has the properly configured SD card with everything on it. Um, I'm just going to show you where to find the um, proper SRC files. This is where all of the demos live. Um, so you can see the gRPC demo, the assistant library demo, the assistant library with button demo, and the cloud speech demo. Um, and you can easily open these up um, to kind of see the code that they implement for these demos. You can edit this if you would like. Um, and that's, that's really the, where all of the hackability comes in for programming the AIY kit to do really whatever you want, but I'm just gonna show you how this works really quick. Start dev terminal, and it actually tells you, um, all you have to do, it says just hint, all you do is type in src slash assistant, assistant underscore library underscore demo dot pi, enter. And then it's ready to go. Okay, Google, who is Aero Electronics? According to Wikipedia, Aero Electronics is an American Fortune 500 company headquartered in Centennial, Colorado. That's right. You can pick up the AOI Projects voice kit on Aero.com. Don't forget to pick up a Raspberry Pi 3. Maybe you even need a keyboard, a mouse, and an SD card. All of it's available at Aero.com.